Welcome to 3D.sk, human photo reference for 3D artists and game developers. On this site you can find thousands of images, from studio photo reference, to street photo reference. We also have a selection of animals on our site. We have some costumes, we have weapons, armor. We also have 3D scans of bodies and heads, clothing, animals, all the aforementioned above, and 3D maps and textures. In this tutorial, we're going to be carrying on from the last tutorial where we used our 3DS to create new topology for our model. The main reason for this is to obviously have good topology for animation and games, but also to project de uh, details from other texture maps. So starting off, we need to kind of this is all looking a bit kind of chunky and kind of all over the place. So we need to clean some of this up and we also need to project it. Let's get, I think this is the one with the high, high poly information. Yep, it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to project. Just want to see what changes this did. Okay. Seems okay for now. Just gonna turn off dynamic solo and just see what's going on here. Gonna use my BMV tool to kind of maybe move this down a little bit. Yeah, move that down a little bit. Being a bit slow, so I might just use the lower poly version. Yeah, that should speed up things a little bit. Okay, check the other ear. Oh, that should be good. Put that about there. Let's project all again. It's going to go to dynamic solo for a second. Maybe we actually do want this one more like this. Yeah, that seems to be a bit better. Okay, we can maybe smooth out this nose a little bit. Yep. Put your smooth on a lower intensity. And just slightly smooth out some of these things. Reproject. Might actually turn up the intensity after. Project. Just trying to kind of smooth things out a tiny bit so they're not so chunky. I guess the right word is not so spread out, a bit more even and relaxed. Just put a smooth here and there and reproject. Maybe around the eye area a tiny bit, but be careful. Should have worked pretty well, yep. Okay. Now on the forehead a little bit. Maybe not on the ears so much, but maybe a little bit. I feel like the ears are a bit. Hmm. The ears might take a bit of work. Okay, underneath the neck, I think needs some smoothing, the jaw, go around the neck a little bit, smooth that out. Okay, I'm just going to actually do that. Here it's looking a bit choppy. Move that out a little bit. The ears are definitely looking a bit choppy as well. 
might just go on a lower intensity and just kind of smooth them out a little bit, see if I can fix some of that up. That seems fine. Do the same for the other side. That seems fine too. Don't know if we'll have this subdivision as our final subdivision, but we'll see about that. Uh, let's check on the inside. Doesn't seem too bad. Not sure how much I can move there. Oh, that's fine. Okay, now we can divide, but we're going to do it in a specific way. So I'm going to go to Morph Target, Store Morph Target, Divide, go back down the Morph Target, I mean the Subdivision, and then Switch. Go back to 2, go Divide, oops, sorry, nope, not yet. Delete Morph Target, Store Morph Target, Divide, go back to 2, Morph Target, Switch, Delete Morph Target. Okay, it should be at a point now where it doesn't matter too much, but at Subdivision Level 3 we want to project once again. So I'm just going to project that and see where that gets us. Okay. Not perfect, but this is why we need to fix a few things. Yeah, we're just gonna check. Uh, I just press something. All right, gonna just use brush clay build up here to kind of. Bring this out so the projection can pick it up. Smooth that out now. Sometimes you have to do this just to kind of make it fit in. Okay, a bit more smoothing. Tiny bit more smoothing. Bit of smoothing here. You can even go brush plate build up, bring that in a little bit more. And get everything into a kind of a, a rough position should be good. Okay, so the ears are having some issues as they usually do. Might just inflate here a little bit. Smooth that out. This is why you want to go to subdivision level 3 before going higher because you need to fix some of this stuff before you go higher. It's easier this level. Easier, I should say. Okay, that'll do. Don't know what this one's doing. So we can kind of fix it. Let's just go project all on that. Let's move it out. This has found its place. Still need a little bit more. It's gonna inflate there, it's gonna inflate there, inflate here. Just see what's going on here. Okay, that should do there. Would prefer if this noseable fold. Was kind of following the actual shape a bit more. So just turn off dynamic solo and just kind of match it a bit better. Okay, 
this line, just make one line kind of follow it a bit better. I'm actually going to use my poly groups here. Kind of follow it a bit better. It's the only bit that I really care about. Add it there over a little bit. Smooth it out. Reproject. And that looks a lot better now. Okay. What I might also do is this area is a bit problematic. I guess it's not too much of an issue. You can just kind of move these things. Move it out, move this, move it out. Then we can use our projection method that we're going to do later, or just our Photoshop fix up that we're going to use later to kind of fix some of this. It's going to smooth that out. Let's actually select all this. All these edges. Just going to smooth that out. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to Polish. Polish by Features. Polish. I can actually use this to bring it in a little bit without wrecking it. Then you can use Polish Crisp Edges. Polish. And this is just going to bring it in a little bit. And then we can project again. And this might be a bit more kind of in place. Where is polish again? Deformation. Polish. Polish. Okay. Now maybe we can move these a bit easier now. So we're just trying to remove these kind of in the space of the original mesh. Apology up here doesn't really allow for that, but that's fine. We can just go with it. Not the biggest deal ever. Polish, polish. I try to mirror and it gave me an error. Well, that's fine. Let's try and move this down a little bit. All right. Let's move it out. Let me move this one in a little bit. Okay. Let's now project it. Do the polish once again. All right.
Yeah, I'd say that's good enough for now. We can maybe move up some some division levels now. Let's have a rough look. Let's have a look at the poly frame. Everything seems to be okay. Maybe up here a little bit. Make sure the floor is working properly. Seems to be okay to me. Now let's divide, divide, divide. Get it up to six subdivision levels. And then let's project all. Okay, now that's projected. Uh, there's a few little issues here and there. We can get rid of them quite easily though. I'm just going to get my trim dynamic brush here and just kind of move this down. Keeps moving it, keeps moving it. Project all. Okay, so <clears throat> it seems like we have a problem here. Let me just see what's going on. Oh, I see. It's more than a trim dynamic that's needed here. It's a whole. It needs to go away in here. Okay. That's fine. And obviously polish again if needed, which I think it might need. Is this project all? This is a lot of projecting at this point to try and get everything looking as you want it. Okay, so that seems to be roughly in place apart from a little bit here. Let's just clean that up. Let's get our edges again. Deformation, polish. Okay, we might need to do this a little bit more. Okay, for now I'm going to say this will do. Let's have a look at what the topology is doing here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back down to let's say 4. And maybe just smooth some of these areas out a little bit. Then we can do one last projection. Okay, so now we've got that projection. There's still some little errors here. And I just go back. Might actually have to do another projection on that. Move this in. Move it down. Back in. It's just a lot of fixing until you're happy with it. Polish that. Okay, so what I actually forgot is this isn't the high res eyebrow. So I actually want to unhide this one, which is the high res. Or the super high res. So I'm actually going to make a save. My save is on the other screen, but is I'm just on Milan Bellas underscore forty. I make periodic saves as you should. Okay, so now that that's saved out, obviously I've got my file saved on a HDD, not an SSD, and it can take quite a while because this is quite a big file size. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my this one. I'm just going to make sure that I've got the right one selected and then I'm going to do one last projection on the really high poly. <laughs> now that that's been projected we can uh, make some small adjustments like here bring this back in, maybe polish this on a third subdivision level so it doesn't take as long, that's fine,
just gonna kind of smooth this out, maybe give it a little bit of a polish. Okay, so that bit's sorted. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm quite happy with this. Maybe still some small bits we need to fix, like here. There is actually some points that we still need to fix. So this is just a back and forth process that you need to do. We might actually need to go up another. How are these eyeballs looking on the sixth subdivision level? They're looking okay, actually. I guess that's fine. <coughs> Yeah, that's fine by me. Okay, so I'm going to say that this is pretty fixed up right now. Obviously, we're not going to be able to use this subdivision level for our projection. I'd probably say maybe we'll go in with subdivision level 3, perhaps. I'd probably say subdivision level 3 might be okay. It's because subdivision level 1 it's not the greatest. It's a bit too low poly. It doesn't quite fit the shape of the, the mesh around the ears. It fix the ears, but we need a different ear mesh topology, I think, for his ear specifically. Or we'd have to re r 3 ds it. I mean, perhaps we could, but it's going to change the whole model, so I'd rather not. I think we'll just go in with a subdivision level 3 and project from there. It's quite nice and clean on subdivision level 3. We've got some of the detail in there. Would 2 be okay? Actually, 2 might be okay as well. We'll have to see in the next tutorial. Actually, in the next tutorial, we're going to be covering reprojecting detail and using different maps, combining them in Photoshop, and then reprojecting the, the texture and the displacement to create more detail, or different detail as well. A different way of doing it if you have topology. So with this tutorial done, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye. Welcome to the end of this tutorial. Feel free to comment with feedback and suggestions below, and also comment on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks and goodbye.